We are going to make a living room with the Archipack Pro add-on and a basic rendering. I'll explain step by step and you can see all the shortcuts on the screen. Like and subscribe to support the channel and let's get started! To define the perimeter of the room, Shift A to add a plane, change the dimensions to 15 by 15. Ctrl A to apply the scale, press Tab to enter edit mode, enable vertex snap and move arrow. Ctrl R to create an edge loop. Drag it at minus 3.1 from the top of the plane. Make another edge loop at minus 1.4 from the first one. Now we do the same in the other direction, but this time at 1 meter from the left side. Press 3 to enable face mode. Select this face, X to delete, faces. Tab to exit edit mode. Right click, convert to curve. After installing Archipack Pro, go to create wall from curve. Select generic 30 by 300. Make sure you have the wall selected and go to Archipack. Click this icon, then floors and add the first one. Then add the floor molding and then the ceiling slab. Select the ceiling, add an offset of minus 0.3 and move it 0.3 down. Hide the ceiling whenever you need a better view inside the room. To add a window, go to create window. Select this one and put it on the wall with left click. Select the window and change the dimensions to 3 by 2.4. Go to Leaf, increase the number of the panels to 4 and remove the handle. Then go to Parts and add Frame Out. To cut the molding, select it, hold the cursor pointer where you want to cut and press S to split. Do the same on the right side. Now select the section and hide it in Viewport and in Renders. Select the window, adjust the values of the frame and the seal as you prefer. Add Blind inside, then select it, change the type to Vertical Slotted and adjust it. Add another window on this wall. It won't be visible in the render, but it will let in more outside light. Change the dimensions as you prefer. Shift A to create a camera. Center the view, then press Ctrl Alt 0 to move the camera to your view. Go to View, enable Camera to View to adjust the view, and then disable it. To add a fireplace, we need to make a hole in the wall. Select the walls, go to Archipack, click Hole. Add it to the wall, select it and change the dimensions to 1 by 0.5 by 0.5 and the altitude to 0.4. Hold Shift, right click and Control to move the cursor to this point. Shift A to create a cube. Change the dimensions to 0.5 by 1 by 0.6 and align it with the hole. Selected, tab to edit mode, press 3 to face mode, select this face, X to delete it. Tab to exit edit mode, apply to the cube the same material of the walls, matte paint white. Now let's add some props from Blender Kit. I have the free version at the moment, so I'll sort it at free first. There isn't the kind of fireplace that I'm looking for, so we'll fake it with a window. Nobody's gonna know. Rotate and center the window, then select all the parts, tab to edit mode, toggle X-ray view and adjust the shape to look like the glass of a fireplace. To add a shelf above the fireplace, Shift A to create a cube. 
change the dimensions to 0.15 by 1.8 by 0.1. Align it with the wall, Ctrl A to apply the scale and add a bevel modifier. I'll add more props from Blender Kit, choosing them according to the shape. We'll adjust the materials later. I'll speed up the video, see you later for the lighting process. Add this lamp on the side table, adjust it, then add this ceiling lamp. It is time for the rendering process. Enable cycles, GPU compute, enable the noise optics and make sure you have both GPU and CPU enabled in preferences system optics. Go to render preview. And now we need an HDRI. I usually use Gaffer Addon, but you can download all the HDRI for free on the Polyhaven website. Go to World Properties, enable HDRI and choose Moodlit Golf. Clicking this plus icon, you can download the resolution you prefer. I use the 4K one. Adjust sun rotation and brightness. Select the point light of this lamp and increase the power to 800. Then select the ceiling light, go to Material Properties, Light and remove the emission. Go to Blender Kit, add fire and wood pieces to the fireplace and adjust them. You can duplicate, mirror and move the fire as you prefer to make it more realistic. Shift A to add an area light, rotate it 90 degrees along the X axis, move it and rotate it to simulate the light of a window, increase the power to 30, duplicate the light and rotate it. Now we can unhide the ceiling. Go to render view to see the result. To adjust the color of the props, select the sofa, go to shading tab and enable render view. To make the wood darker, add a bright contrast node in this way and change the bright to minus 1. Do the same with the shelf material. Then select the fireplace and make the base color darker. Select the floor material, decrease the saturation to 0.2, add a bright contrast node in this way and change both bright and contrast to minus 0.3. Select the molding and change the material to random pine parquet. Select the shelf above the fireplace, go to UV editing, UV, smart UV project. Then apply the same material of the floor and adjust it in UV shading mode. Select the cushion and change the two colors of the color ramp node. 
Make the blind orange and the window black. Use the same color of the blind for the carpet. Go back to layout mode. Add the props you prefer from Blender Kit to complete the scene. I speed up the video, see you later for the final steps. I'll add the last plants from Botanic Dawn. Go to Polygonic, move the cursor with Shift right click, then Spawn, Pots, choose the one you like and S to adjust the scale. Then move the cursor to the center of the pot with Shift right click, then Spawn, Plants and choose one. As to scale it and move it down a bit. Do the same to add another plant on the shelf and another one on the floor. And finally press F12 on your keyboard to make the render. Save the image and now let's do a bit of color correction with Krita. That is free but you can use GIMP or Photoshop. Duplicate the level. Adjust contrast, saturation and levels and export it. Let me know in the comments what would you like me to model next time. Check in the description the Arquivits playlist and all the software and add-ons that I used in this project. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and see you next time.